Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Now, first and foremost, I just want to say I didn't actually plan on making this video, so this is going to be slightly different to what you may expect on this channel. But before we get into things, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help me out. Okay then, so as you can see, I'm kind of halfway in the process of refurbishing this Dynamic Drive anti-roll bar here. I plan on fitting this to my BMW 760 Ally over there. Now the anti-roll bar on that car has been leaking ever since I bought it. It's a very, very common problem. And they leak hydraulic power steering fluid or this CHF synthetic fluid from a couple of places really, from here and then from here as well. And yeah, there's pretty much no way of repairing this aside from what i'm going to be showing you today you know pretty much bmw just recommend that you buy a new anti-roll bar and these things brand new are like over a thousand pounds so yeah very very costly to replace this entire unit so yeah what i'm going to do today hopefully will save some of you guys some money so first and foremost what i'd done was i just want to say as well this isn't off this car this is actually removed from a 2008 BMW 730D parts car, but I thought I may as well refurbish it and all I need to do is remove the one off that car and then just, yeah, swap it over. But anyway, so first and foremost, what I've done with this one is I removed these brackets. This is where it bolts on to the front subframe and then I removed the bushes themselves. They don't look in too bad shape, but you know, for the sake of how much these cost, I'm sure they're like five or ten pounds to replace these. I thought I may as well just remove those. I've gave the entire anti-roll bar a good clean up, and to be honest, it's actually in pretty good shape. A little bit of surface rust on the ends there, but yeah, nothing, nothing too concerning. Um, yeah, I've gave these bearings a good clean up. There's really no way to replace these, so yeah, the only thing you can do is give them a clean up. So that's what I've done. And then what I'd done was actually to get this seal away from here. As you can see, this should slide over onto there. I just used a heat gun, heated it up, which in turn mounted the glue. And then I just, you know, slid it away. And as you can see, there is still a small, very, very small amount of the original glue in there. But I've been scraping away, trying to get all that removed, ready for some fresh stuff. And with this seal, there's really not too much you can do. I don't think you would be able to slide this fully off. So again, I've just used the heat gun and, uh, and then just sort of heated around the edge, pried it out with a flat bladed screwdriver and tried to remove as much as the original adhesive as possible. Now, I think the plan is to reseal this unit. I think first and foremost, I'm gonna use this gasket maker this black silicone sealant and i'm just going to put this around the edge right there and again try and put it down as far as possible in this seal on both sides and then i think to adhere this seal to the anti-roll bar itself i'm going to use this contact adhesive i don't really know how well this is going to go but realistically, it's the only thing that you can do. Like I said, there's no like replacement gasket or anything. So this is, yeah, this is the next best thing to be honest. Okay, so here's how we are currently locking. I have applied the gasket maker to three sealing surfaces. So the first one, of course, is here. Now, in terms of this cap, I will be using the contact adhesive to seal that back in place. But first, I'm gonna let the gasket maker set to probably going to take the best part 24 hours to you know set completely so once that is done i'll come back and just seal that in place like i said with the contact adhesive but with this part obviously because we can't fully remove this seal all i've had to do was try and get as much gasket maker in that void as possible obviously i opened it up with the heat gun as you saw and yeah just tried to pack as much of that in there as possible on both sides and then all I've done is just attach one of these hose clamps on just to try and squash it back down to the size and I'm hoping that that gasket maker is going to be enough to seal I mean I guess I guess I could actually leave these clamps in place um, but I think what I'll do is probably 
remove them once the gasket maker has set and then just to see if it has kind of sealed properly I don't really know what to expect I mean obviously this side is much easier you know all I had to do is a small uh, film around and then just you know doing it with my finger but obviously because we are relying on the gasket maker to actually seal this in place as well as create a seal for the fluid to not come out I don't really know if it's gonna stick or not so yeah we'll have to wait and see anyway okay so a little update then it is a whole 24 hours later as you can see I have removed those two Jubilee clamps now it's hard to say how well the instant gasket has sealed I have just went and applied another coat just to make sure you know that it is you know as uniform as possible and there isn't any holes but yeah I guess we'll really just have to wait and see if the instant gasket by itself is going to hold there's not a whole lot else I can do there to be honest like I said with this end pretty easy actually you know I've already sealed with the instant gasket so what I'm going to do now is just apply some of this contact adhesive to the inside of this seal here and then stick that on over there we are then that's how we're looking after applying the contact adhesive just going to give that a couple of hours to dry and I will remove that Jubilee clamp and that should be us pretty much done okay then guys so I think we are pretty much there now with the repair of this dynamic drive anti roll bar as you can see I have went ahead and removed the Jubilee clamp this seal is fully secured on there now you can't even move that that contact adhesive has really done its job I have also went ahead and applied some of that contact adhesive over the top of the uh, instant gasket just to kind of give it an extra protection so yeah realistically I don't think there is any chance that these two seals should leak now but yeah this is how we're looking anyway it's as far as I want to go with the thing I mean as long as this does not leak then this has been successful of course before we refit this back onto the car we do have a couple more things to replace obviously we need to have new anti-roll bar bushes i'd recommend replacing them there's no point using the old original ones and i will be installing some new drop links or sway bar links as well at the same time for new genuine lem forder ones you're probably looking at around 20 pounds or so or 30 dollars so yeah you're better off just replacing those at the same time but yeah hopefully this has been some help to some of you guys like i said i didn't really plan on making this video but halfway through i sort of thought you know this is more than likely going to help at least one of you out there so hopefully you have enjoyed it please give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so and i will see you all in that next one peace